Right, for this video we're going to have a look at protecting cells within Excel 2007. And protecting cells has to be done within, with uh, two steps. First of all you have to decide which cells the user is going to be allowed to change and then you have to enforce the protection. So on this invoice we'd like the users to be able to change these cells here. So I highlight those, make sure that I'm on the Home tab and go to Format here. Choose the drop down menu and here we've got lock cells. You see that at the moment it's highlighted so those cells were locked. If I click on it they're now unlocked. Then the second step is it doesn't matter which cells are highlighted for this but for the second step I then go into format and into protect sheet. There's quite a few different options that we've got here. Uh, I would like the user to only be able to select the unlocked cells and not be able to select the locked cells. So the user won't be able to click on any of these cells at all unless they're going to be allowed to change them. The only cells they will be allowed to select and to make changes to are the ones that are going to be unlocked here. If I want to, I can put in a password so only I can take the protection off and I'll use the password protect. Make sure that you remember the password because once it's on, it's on. And it's also case sensitive. So if you use capitals, you must use capitals when you unlock it as well. If I click on OK, it asks me to repeat the password to make sure I've not made a typo error. I'll click on OK. Now if I try and click on any of the cells that were locked, it won't let me. However, I can still click on any of the ones that were unlocked. So if I put some items in here, I'll put down eggs. Not sure how much eggs are, I'll say they're free range, I guess, £1.20. Pricey eggs. And I'll say there's one box. So you see the other cells have been changed correctly automatically but I can't now select them and delete the formulae accidentally. If I then want to make some changes to this uh, spreadsheet, I can do, I can take the protection off, but I'm gonna to have to know that password. So I can click up here again. You see all of these options, by the way, are grayed out because the user is not allowed to make any changes to these now. They can't change the uh, formatting or anything like that, the styles, without the password. If I click on Format, and click on unprotect sheet, it asks me for that password, protect, and then all of the greyed out options come back at the top and I can now select these cells again. And that concludes the session on protecting cells in Excel 2007.